well here's my project that just about buried me but I just keep chipping away on it is this radial drill and uh, all the other projects I just kind of do the as a distraction because tell you the truth I after three years I kind of got burnt out on this thing but in the end it will be worth it so as another distraction I'll go ahead and finish uh, grinding on that cutter Well, I got that cutter pretty much round now with that secondary uh, angle ground clear around. Now, what I've got to do to make it cut correctly, the way it is now with a 14 degree uh, angle on there, it would be very aggressive, but it might work okay in aluminum. Then I'm going to put a secondary angle on it, and it's just going to be a, a very narrow band. Let's see. Yeah, just about that wide. But first, to get this cutter straight, I had to grind it down enough that I lost that third angle, ground it off, that uh, formed the gullet. So I'm going to come back around before I grind the uh, uh, primary cutting angle here about 5 degrees. Behind it here is 14 degrees. And uh, then this, this other angle here, what's it look like? I'll measure it on here. Probably about 20 degrees. <clears throat> and then it, it, it'll form more of a pocket for a chip. Now, this will cut like that, but it'll, uh, if you're taking a heavy cut, these uh, gullets will load up. Okay, so I'm going to put the dish wheel on and uh, put that third angle in. I hope you're all having a good day. It's going to get real hot and I'll probably knock it off in a while. Okay, I went ahead and ground the primary angle in here after grinding that secondary. And uh, I believe that I'd be better off grinding these cutters and especially grinding the um, uh, dash deeper would be on the heavier work head than this lighter weight head. It's a pretty good sized cutter and I think I think uh, the results be better with the uh, heavier work kit. So, and I want to try um, this out too. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the mill and just do a test cut with it. And I'll be back for that. There we are. Hey, okay, I got that cutter that I salvaged. It does need more work. And what I really need to do is uh, redo those cutters uh, completely using the standard work head that's quite a bit heavier than the uh, all-tool Rotodex because they're going to require some heavy-duty uh, uh, notching and stuff like that. But there's some life left in this one. And uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, cutting, cutting speed times 4 divided by diameter it gives about 100 RPMs going here. So we'll get it going at about 105 RPMs. Twenty-five 
good about there. Lost that knee. Okay. to the drawing board with that for sure. I'm going to uh, redo that on the uh, standard work head. Got to show the failures, you know. I think the problem being is uh, some of the grinding was a little too hard on that uh, Rotodex and it moved. So I will be back on this. Hard to say what I'm going to do next. But I'm going to redo those cutters and get out the heavy duty work head and do the full meal deal to them. Okay, have a good day. I figured out my mistake. And what happened is the armor I was holding this uh, cutter on was in a 5C collet. And you seen me tweak those collets? Well, when I was doing some grinding back on this, uh, I, I just was putting too much stress on it and uh, sent it out around uh, via the collet, the arbor I have in the collet. Now, to do the very best job on these would be to grind the, this cutter like it's sitting right there on this arbor stuck into the Cincinnati workhead. And uh, that's what I'm going to do next. But I got a couple things to do here with this grinder. I think these lighter attachments would be just fine for touching up these like the air spindle and stuff like that, but for doing the serious grinding the gullets and stuff where you're putting a lot of stress on it, I think it's far better to use the standard work head. And that's what I'm going to do. That's surefire. But the reason I wanted to try these, I wanted to see if I could get away with it, and I couldn't. So we'll go back to the standard work head for a lot of things. And uh, the saw tool Rotodex here, now where this thing is going to shine, rifle, chamber, reamers. Yep. So, okay, we'll get on to that. I don't know if I'll be able to video that because of the subject matter, but uh, that's one of the directions I'm going. And also the uh, drill press outside, and I'm going to go on it. So I got a lot of videos to make. And back on the cutter grinder as I go. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for the donations, too. You guys have a great day. It's going to get hot here. Well over 100.